Hi everyone, this is Diane. This is going to be a uh, stash history episode. And what I want to use is my stash, or part of my stash, of vintage magazine ads. In particular, product um, images that are complete. I can cut the whole thing out. They're not hidden by anything. There's no words in front of them. I am going to make um, paper clips with these. I saw my friend Nancy Rose do this on her channel, and uh, her her YouTube channel is Wishes and Weeds, and she makes gorgeous, gorgeous things, and I love to watch her haul videos, so I will link her channel below so that you can go check her out, and she makes beautiful journals and beautiful embellishments to go in her journals, and I've seen people make a lot of paper clip, you know, altered paper clips to use in their journals, but this was just perfect because I have a lot of vintage magazine ads, and um, so does Nancy. Another one who uses a lot of vintage magazine ads is Layman, who is um, Lace Covered Skies. But this is an idea I saw Nancy do. So you can see I'm fussy cutting the images out. I'll do three or four and then we'll just make a paper clip. So I have a can of Del Monte corn. This is pure pack milk container. Um, let's do a square one. We'll do some 20 mule team borax. I'm trying to do a good job cleaning up my room before I start the next project and these have been sitting on my table. I've just been, as I go through things and find them, I put them together in a pile so that I know where they are when I want them. So I figured before they get lost, I might as well just use them, make the paper clips. And I'm going to cut out this package of Kraft cheese. Okay. I can do the others another time, but we'll do four of them today. I have my box of jumbo paper clips here. supposed to do this. I'm going to glue the images. I'm looking for my paper that I glue on. I think I threw it away because it was too gluey. So we're going to glue the images to a piece of scrap cardstock. I'm using craft cardstock. You can use whatever you want. And then we have to cut them out again. This is just making our very fragile images stronger. Let's just go ahead and work with that. Now I need the backing image, which will be 
the same shape. So I'm going to trace around the can. And then I'm going to cut on the inside of the pencil line. Otherwise, this would be bigger than the can. And I'm putting the small part of the paper clip facing the inside and then I will glue this to the outside and then we'll have a paper clip. Oh look at that. That leaked. See how quick and easy that is? You have to cut the image out three times, but nor mostly the images, if they're products, it's cans and boxes, so it's not that hard to cut out. I also have this Goodyear em um, emblem that I'm going to use. So this will be a really fun paper clip in some projects. Now Nancy, well I'll tell you, I'll show you what she, I'm not going to do what she does, but I, I'll tell you what she does on the next one. It doesn't bother me to have, if you can see the indentation, which you can't right now, but maybe after time you could see the indentation of the paper clip. She doesn't like that, so she fills the paper clip area in with some cheesecloth so that the paper doesn't dip in. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this the way she does it, like constructing this the way she does, but I know she uses cheesecloth to fill in the dip. Well, that's just about right there. inside the line. So she would put the paper clip on and then she would put some glue here and just lay some cheesecloth here to fill this in but it doesn't bother me, so I'm not going to do that. two paper clips done. I love this little milk container. I went with my parents and a friend to um, our local theater yesterday, but it wasn't a movie they were playing. It was a piano and cello concert. So there was one cellist and one pianist, and it was an only an hour concert. Actually, the music less, was less than that. They had some time for questions afterwards. 
and it was very nice. They played um, some French composers who I have heard of but wasn't familiar with their music. So it wasn't um, any music that I knew. They played Foray, that's the name of a composer, and I forgot the other one that starts with an F, but they were both French. Um, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. Why didn't you stop me? I shouldn't talk while I'm trying to do something that requires thinking. Just let that dry so I can do that the right way. skinny paper clip. Just about the size of a paper clip. I'll do that later after it dries. I need to lay it down on the cardstock so I can trace around it. But I got ahead of myself and put, I was gluing it together without the paper clip in between. So let's find another one. Ooh, I love, I like this one. Honey made graham crackers. You could do this with products from modern day magazines too. They don't have to be vintage. So this one's going to have to be sideways. Because even the short part of the paper clip would stick out on the front. So we don't want that. You don't have to watch me do all of these, but I might as well get them done while I'm while I'm at it. So I'll I'll just turn the camera off after this one, and I will work until they're done, and then I'll get back to cleaning up my room. You can do something to the backs of these if you want to. You can ink around them, color them, whatever but I'm just going to leave them plain. They will be 
flipped onto a page so when they're in the journal you won't see the back of them. Okay, so there's four of them and I'm going to keep going until they're done. And I will be back again tomorrow with another video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.